Hello everyone. So today's shave of, shave of the day, I'm gonna try another Italian uh, soap, another Italian maker, Pentaray. Uh, let's see if I can say this correctly. Zemu. Zemu. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Uh, by Pentaray. Now, I got this on a, a discount. Uh, the reason I liked it as well is the label, because I always go by the labels as I told you previous, I, I don't like to do much research, so I go by what I see first. Um, I got both, but uh, today I'm gonna try the feather blade as well, but I'll do, use it on the Parker, which it's a bit more aggressive than the one I used previous, so I want to see how I cope with the, the feather on the Parker. Because I loved it on the Edwin Jagger and on the Henson, so we're gonna try on the party today. Uh, and just to prevent anything, I'm gonna use Porasso pre shave first before I, I do my shave. So, I'm gonna wet my face, start it up. There we go. Now, we'll get a bit of the Porasso pre shave white. Get it ready. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> and actually, I, I, I didn't use this for a long time. I actually forgot about how it feels in the scent. Hmm, yeah. Lovely. Uh, that's one of the things I'm gonna have to do as well. I have to try the other porasos. So, because I never did. There we go. We're ready. Now let's open the Pantheray Zemu and see what expects me. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, very strong, which normally I like, but this has a scent of anise. Uh, or Zambuca, uh, for those that know about the drink, and uh, I don't like it. I don't like it because when I was younger, I got really drunk on a Portuguese drink that we call Anish. It's kind of like Zambuca, but a, a bit stronger. And since then, just the smell of it kind of makes me sick. Oh yeah, nah. <clears throat> I will do the shave anyway. And now, this is my fault because I didn't do research, but I, I'm going to do the shave anyway because I want to see the soap. It's my first time using Pantheray, so I want to see how the soap performs. But uh, for those that love the smell of anise, this is brilliant. Not for me, because I don't like the scent of, of, of anise. It's not that I don't like, it's it just my guts go... Um, so, I'm going to do the shave anyway. And now, I'm actually gonna, no, I'll wait, because if this has this scent, that might be even stronger. Now, I'll do it, I'll see how it goes anyway, I wanna see how it performs, if it protects or not. Um, but now I'm a bit disappointed, I, I think I have to start doing research on my soaps that I order. I didn't want it, but, uh, here we go, we're gonna do a, an effort there, I'll get my, and definitely I'm not going to do face leather, I'm going to do a, a bowl leather. So, here we go. I'm going to take dollop there. Put it on my bowl. Here we go. Well, I'm saying I'm going to do research. I don't like to do research because I want to go by, by the feeling. I don't want to be skewed on anything like, you know, because if you see a scent, if you do the research and you do, you, 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 you see a scent that you like, you're going to be uh, all excited, even if the soap doesn't perform or anything like that. So, and it's always good to have surprises, even if it's, a, I don't want to call it bad surprise, but you know what I mean. Um, but it's always good, it's an experience. No, I'm not going to do research. I might do research. That's one of my ideas. Let me know what you think of it. 
that it's do a, a second um, video with the research done on the, the soap itself. It doesn't need to be a shaving, just talking about it later. So, there we go. I'm gonna, I forgot, I'm gonna use my T3 Trafalgar. I'm just gonna wet it there. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of me doing a second video with a proper research talking about the, the soaps or whatever I'm using, like the, the razor or the brush or something like that. But um, I don't like to do research. Not, not that I'm not, that I'm lazy or something like that. Just I want to go by the feeling, the experience itself. So here we go. Let's see how it leathers. When it's a bit dry, I need to put some more water there. Take it from the cup. There we go. Yeah. A bit better now. But it looks like um, a soap that needs a bit more um, water. Because I had already plenty of water on the on the brush, but um no it needs more. It's still very dry. So I'll just put a bit there. Ooh, you can need a bit more, a bit too much there. Fine. It's okay. Oh there we go. More water, yeah, definitely. It's a thirsty, a thirsty soap. Yeah, definitely. Needs way more water than the, the ones I used before. So, yeah. Let me see if it's still true. Yeah, it's still strong. It's still very strong. Which, as I told you, I love strong scents. Love strong scents. This would be brilliant if it was a different scent. This is just, um, this scent is kind of for me, as I told you. No. B brings me bad memories. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, plenty of leather. Yeah, if you put a bit more water, leathers really nicely. So, in terms of leathering, really, really good. And it's proper shiny and creamy there. So, here we go. We're gonna get ready. Let's face leather. gonna try to not pay attention to the scent and just the performance of it feeling wise nice creamy so far so it's not a fault of the the soap so far and I, I'm definitely just to be fair I'm definitely gonna order some other Pantheray product with a different scent, so that I can have a better, a better shave with it. It's not that it, I didn't even start, but um, it's just the scent. But really creamy, really nice actually in terms of feeling. Really, really nice. Yeah, doesn't disappoint in terms of leathering feeling and the way it leather as well nice now I'm gonna use my Parker level 3 feather blade and see how I do with this feather blade on a more aggressive than the Edwin Jagger so here we go and see how this soap performs as well in terms of sleekness oh wow yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm definitely at least here on the cheeks. Let's wait for the the neck. But so far, this blade has been superb. Superb. Neck. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely this this. This, this blade definitely, I think it's top. Yeah. Do you know what I, I think about it? I think it's the thickness of it. I'm not sure, because I didn't check that out. I have to check it out. I have to do my investigation there now. Because even when you pick up this blade, It's not as wobbly as most of the other ones. So it might be that what makes it more aggressive. 
more sharp. That's my feeling anyway. Um, I don't know the science behind it, but that's what I, I feel like. it. Yeah, and this is a third use blade. And uh, I just don't feel any shed, shed, you call it cheddar, you know, wobbliness on the, on the blade. Really nice. And so far the soap, actually, I don't know if it's my nose that is getting used to it now, it's kind of going away. It's not, um, my gut is not just, it's not as, I don't know how to explain. Yeah, it's just one of those scents that you just... Ugh. There we go. It's funny because it used to be the same with whiskey. But uh, I love whiskey. And I'm living near a distillery, a whiskey distillery, so... I'm in a good spot. Yeah, this blade is just yeah, definitely good. I think she surpassed the Voscott for me. I have to check other blades as well, but so far this one and the Voscott for me are the the best ones. It just and the soap is performing nicely. Nice, nice, nice. I had someone asking me to, to do a few more videos, but I'm, I'm gonna explain why I don't. As I said previous, my skin is very sensitive, so I have to give space in between shaves. So, no, I, I can't do more often. And I can't do like straight, like a Saturday and Wednesday, Saturday and Wednesday. So sometimes, depending on how the shave was, I'm just gonna take this, I need to, Give a bit more space or if I, I have some uh, spots coming out or something like that I have to do my exfoliating and all that stuff before I do the shaving so it all depends on how the skin is going so get ready for the second pass there we go I have to say sleekness wise not bad the soap not bad at all still have a bit there but yeah not bad at all. There we go, back to the bowl. Adding my brush. Still plenty there. And one thing I no I'm noticing, it's very, very shiny. The, the leather. Yeah, and it feels really nice. Yeah, ooh, the smell. Feels nice, but that, that smell just, oh, it's not for me. And it's not the fault of the soap at all, like, it's just me. Whew. Yeah, as soon as you put it back on, it just whew, hits your nose. So that means it's a strong scent. And I love strong scents, but not this, like, you know. So if you like this kind of scent, you'll love this soap. Leather's really, really nice. I'm enjoying the feeling of it, actually. Feeling is really, really, really nice. Here we go. I'm gonna lower down to just a small bit. Two and a half there. Then we go across. Just a small bit. And I didn't have much already, so... We'll see how it goes if I'm gonna go against or do just a few touch ups. Yeah, this blade is just, just effortless. Effortless. Nice. So 
some blades I wouldn't be able to do this like you would have to do sharp strokes and this one just glides look and the soap is performing good as well and I can't forget another thing the heaviness of the of the Parker <laughs> I hear my baby downstairs I think I nicked myself there, I have to be careful. Nice. Yeah. Let's see if I can buff. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, you can buff away easily with this soap as well. So, performance wise, up there. A video without the bark of a dog, it's not a video for me. <laughs> Take a look there. There we go. Second pass, done. Gonna check how it is if I need to go across or if I'll do just a few touch-ups. Definitely need a few. I need to go across. We still have loads of stubbles there. So, third pass, back to the bowl. Yeah, it does, does feel nice, this soap. So, it's just a, that scent. Although my nose is getting used to it now, it's not as strong, but it's, but it's still, still a kind of cringe bit there. Sorry that I can put a happy face on it, but uh, it's not the soap. I'm gonna repeat myself there, because in terms of performance, it's really, really nice, but uh, it's just it's this scent for me. And um, I promise I'll do another Pantaray video with a different scent that doesn't have a strong scent of any. The, the funny thing is, I know I used, uh, soaps before already that have anise but you don't feel it but this one is like it's right there like it's really really strong it's the main the main scent so I'm gonna go across we go one and we go really we go really Not small there no just just take Try to get the BB S shave. It's not that you need it, but I kind of like it. But I have to always be really careful here on my neck, because normally when I get spots and stuff, it's normally here. That's my most affected area, and most sensitive area. I would say as well because when you're shaving and then you put a, a shirt or, or something, they're always scratching there, so.
Yeah, performance wise this soap is good, like it's really good like So no complaints in terms of that Then talking about the blade I was kind of afraid because I saw the videos about the feather blade which I shouldn't, that's why I don't like to do research uh, where they say it's really sharp and for sensitive skin you have to be careful and all that but I, I have to say so far I love this blade and it makes actually shaving easier of course you have to have a proper technique so if you're starting yeah I can understand that point of view of being careful which I'm still learning as well, but I do enjoy this, this blade a lot. So far, all the razors I used it on, nice. Across here, some hairs are across like that here on the chin. Now we're gonna go into the another problematic area when I go across, so I'm gonna shut up. Nice, actually, no problem at all. Nice. So you can buff away as well, so, yeah. Yeah, see, a few nicks there, because of the sharpness of the blade, but I'm, um, nice. I'm enjoying, I'm really enjoying this. There we go, let's check. And if I don't need anything, I'll do my alum treatment and I'll see you for the post shave. Season eight. We are back. So I did my alum treatment. Uh, I had a, especially around this area, a lot of feedback. Small bit on the mustache area, but not, not much here. But here it definitely had a really close shave because I had a lot of feedback there. Uh, otherwise, top notch, no problem. Uh, so. I'm gonna try, oh, don't fall, try the aftershave lotion, Zamu, Pantaray, I'm expecting the Annie's or the Zambuca or the, whatever it's easier for you to identify with, smell there, so, mm, we'll see, we'll see, I didn't feel it yet, so, Hope, hopefully, no, there it is. Yeah, but you feel... Hmm. It does have a strong scent of anise, but there's some other note there. Menthol, maybe. Or citrus, maybe lemon or something like that. Oh, yeah, there's something there, there's something here, in terms of the notes, that makes the scent of the anise not as strong, and it's actually not bad. I don't cringe as much with this scent, actually. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, definitely, it's, I'm putting a bit more, actually, and it really really fresh on your face really fresh yeah there's some note there see I this scent is actually not bad at all 
for uh, for me in terms of um, like the way the soup the soup is oh my god it's just uh, too much anise there for me this one yeah there's something there's um I don't know what it is they they actually don't say it here but um hmm lemon menthol both of them so I was right with that yeah it kind of takes a bit of the any scent out of it you still feel it don't get me wrong you still feel the any uh, scent there so if you like the any scent this is still really good for you but there's more more notes in there which I actually enjoy and your face gets really really fresh like I have to say this is this would be a perfect summer, perfect, perfect summer um, aftershave because it's really, really cold now on my face. I would say it has to do with the menthol and um, the lemon. Yeah, even now, hmm, yeah, the, the anise is kind of going away and there's other, other notes on the back that I definitely enjoy. Uh, it's a more complicated scent than the, the soap. The soap it's mainly the anise. This one, no, I, it's, see? If you don't try it, I don't know. It, uh, it actually surprised me. I do enjoy this. Even having anise, the aftershave is actually really nice. Nice. See, just a small other scent on top of it and it changed completely. I do, yeah, I definitely enjoy this, uh, this scent, it's completely different. So, I'm talking too much there now, let's recap. Today's chef of the day, Pantheray Zemu, performs really nicely, I have to say, I did enjoy the performance of it, I don't like the scent, I don't like the scent, but it's a really strong scent which I always enjoy. Uh, and the only reason I don't like the scent is because it's of the anise, which is a scent that uh, kind of cringes my gut there. Uh, it's just bad memories from when I was younger, really drunk on anise, the drink, or Zambuca, which actually is a Portuguese drink that it's a bit stronger than the Zambuca. And Zambuca is already really strong, so you can imagine. And uh, since then, just the smell of it is kind of hard for me. Uh, that's the only reason. I didn't enjoy the scent. It's not the performance of the soap, it's the scent of the soap. So, in terms of performance, really nice. Not bad at all. If you like the scent of Venice, this is for you. Then we use the T3 uh, Simpson Trafalgar, T3, on bowl, ceramic bowl lathering, uh, with my Parker variant, with the third use uh, feather blade, which I did enjoy, I wasn't expecting to enjoy that much. I was kind of afraid as well of the aggressiveness, but no, really enjoyed it. Uh, oh, I'm, f I'm forgetting. We used the Porasso pre-shave, which I was forgetting about. Really nice. And to finish it off, a, re a complicated uh, scent because it has the anise, but I did enjoy it. The scent I'm having now, it's really nice. Uh, the anise scent kind of is fading away and there's other stuff on the back. Perfect for the summer, really fresh. I did enjoy this aftershave. So, hope you guys enjoyed this shave as well. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to put a like on it. Uh, leave a comment, anything you, you want, like answer uh, uh, questions or if you have any critics just post it uh, and i see you in the next one bye bye ciao